everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a March favourites. So this is everything that I have been loving within the month of March or even longer. So yeah, let's get straight into it and I'll show you what I've been enjoying. So the first thing that I have been loving is this little thing here, which is a nightlight. And as you can see, it's just a plug-in. If you've watched my Poundland haul previously, you will know that I picked this little nifty gadget up. I didn't know how well it was going to work, but I have to admit it's definitely one of the best things that I've picked up in Poundland. It's definitely worthwhile. I use this in Sophia's room. We turn it on every night and it has a sensor so it will automatically go off during the day once the daylight starts appearing. And it is definitely a worthwhile device if you're looking for something for your little one's rooms. The next couple of items are household products. The first one is this Dettol Spray which is in Fresh Berries. And it is absolutely divine. I normally use, I can't even remember, I think it was like the blue and orange ones. But I picked this up because I thought it would be nice. I love the scent of berries and it is definitely, absolutely very delicious it's so so nice and the fact that it kills 99.9 percent .9 bacteria as well is just a plus so i use this in all different rooms i use it in our living rooms on our cushions and couch in the bathroom just anywhere that i feel could do with a bit of this i also spray it on our door handles and light switches and then just rub it off with a microfiber cloth to make sure that is nice and clean but yeah that is one of my favorite things at the moment the next household item is the Method Wild Rhubarb Spray. This has been about for quite a while and it has definitely featured in one of my favourites videos before. I did switch to Zaflora mixed with water, which was, and I still do use as well, it is absolutely amazing, but I managed to get back onto this for some reason and I really, really do rate it. I love the smell of it, it just lasts forever as soon as you spray it on the kitchen surfaces. Leave it for five minutes and it kills it. the bacteria. Yeah, the scent is just absolutely divine. So if you haven't tried it, I would definitely recommend trying that. I absolutely love everything about it. The next kind of householdy items I have got to feature is these wax melts. Now, these unstoppable wax melts are from Febreze and it is in the fresh scent. And I honestly wish you could smell this through the camera because as you can see, I only have one left. I picked them up in Home Bargains and I'm sure it was only like $1.99 but I cannot find them again which is absolutely devastating. I might just need to go to the likes of Asda or Tesco and see if I can pick them up again but they are absolutely amazing. They certainly fill the room and they're probably one of the best wet wax melts that I've found to fill the room as such. My mum walked in yesterday and she was like, oh what if you just sprayed and I was like, nothing. These were on in the living room and in our bathroom and our bedroom and it just fills the house immediately and they're just oh, so, so fresh. So if you can find these, that is definitely another recommendation. The other thing that I've been using is these Air Pure Frankincense Wax Melts and they just look like this. They are from Home Bargains and they are just like a purple colour. And again, another recommendation, we filled our wax, our wax burners up the other night with one of these in our bathroom and it was just so, so nice. We could smell it downstairs and yeah, if you are looking for a cheap alternative, I would definitely recommend these. I think they're like 79 pence or 99 pence, somewhere around there, in home bargains. But they are definitely a must have if you haven't tried them. The next thing I want to feature is this which is absolutely enormous. I don't know how I'm going to show it on camera, but it is basically a collapsible washing basket or like laundry basket, whatever you want to call it. And if I just do this, hopefully you will be able to see, but it just pops out like so and becomes a full on washing basket. And it is just so, so handy. It's so nice, neat and compact that you can put it in any kind of small spaces. Ours just sits behind our side unit and nobody really knows it's there. I've actually got two. I've got one for upstairs and one for downstairs if we ever need them. Um, and yeah, they are definitely like so, so handy. I think I picked these up in B&M, either B&M or Home Bargains. 
and I think they were like seven ninety nine. And you can also get them in pound stretchers, but they seem to be more expensive in there. I think they're about twelve ninety nine. So I would definitely give B and M or Home Bargains a try just to see. But I'm sure it was B and M. If you've watched my latest Slim and Muddled update, you will have seen that I talked about these Promise Gluten Free Rolls. These are the seeded whole grain sandwich rolls. And although I haven't tasted these ones, I have tasted the white soft rolls and they are just amazing. Even just for lunch times, I just find it so, so good. And it actually feels like you're getting something like bad rather than a healthy food option, if you know what I mean. Um, I picked these up in Sainsbury's. I think they were around 150 or somewhere like that. But if you haven't tried them, I would give them a go and see what you think of them. Like I said, for lunchtime, just with some ham or chicken and some salad. Just feels like a fake Subway almost. So yeah, I'm absolutely loving them at the moment. The next thing that I am just in love with are these popcorn bars from Aldi. They are peanut and sunflower seed bars and they have like a white chocolate bottom to them and they're just absolutely divine. I think a box of these is like £1.39 or something like that. So every time I'm in Aldi's I just grab a couple. These are four, either four and a half or four cents. I think it might be four and a half cents each. But for something sweet, these are just a must have to be honest. If you like popcorn, you like chocolate and like seeds, then you need to give these a try. But yeah, I have one of these nearly every single night because it just takes that kind of sweet need away. And they're also really quick filling as well. So yeah, another definite recommendation if you're on Slimming World. And the last food item is something very, very random, but it is these Transformers Saucy Barbecue and they just look like that. They are in Aldi's at the moment. I think it's a six pack for 99 pence. And again, every time that I've been in, I've just been grabbing a couple of packs. Derek and myself both like these, so it's definitely a winner in our house. And they are four cents each. And again, I just feel like I'm getting more in them than I am for the likes of Ringo's. And I'm definitely worth sinning for them because they are just absolutely delicious. Sometimes if I'm really peckish and I've got sins left over, I will have two packets because they're just so nice. So the next thing I wanted to feature was my Estee Lauder Double Wear. And I know this featured in my last favourites video. But I had to do it again because I ran out of this last week and I ended up using the Primark one that's meant to be like the alternative. And I used to swear by that until I actually used the real Estee Lauder Double Wear. It is definitely a more pricey product. It retails at £33.50, which is incredibly expensive. If I think about it, it's probably the most expensive piece of makeup that I've ever, ever bought. I personally wouldn't spend that on anything makeup wise. However, yeah, it's just, it's flawless. It leaves your skin so so nice, it doesn't dry it out and it just is definitely full coverage. I do have freckles and on occasions suffer from bad spots and skin unfortunately. But I just feel like this does the job that it's meant to do and it lasted me quite a little while actually. It must have lasted me about three months I would say. So to be honest. I don't grudge paying it if I'm getting something that I really, really enjoy. So I had to definitely include this. This is in the shade 1N2, which is Ecru. And I am quite pale, if you cannot tell on camera. So yeah, I'm really pale. So this is the shade that I use, but I absolutely swear by it. And I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for a full coverage foundation. Like I said, I know it is more pricey, but you pay for what you get. And this is definitely good, good quality stuff. So the next thing I wanted to feature is this little eyebrow pencil. This is actually from Primark. It is a three in one eyebrow pencil. I done a video a few months ago, I think it was back last year, of a full face of Primark makeup. This is actually what I picked up originally, but when I did use it, I wasn't too hot on it, to be honest. However, the brow product that I normally use, I ran out of, and this was all I had in my cupboard. 
and I just thought you know what I'm just gonna give it a go it was a bit of an emergency case so on one side you just have the little spoolie on the other side you have the pencil and then in the middle you have a powder and like I said when I first done it I first done a review on it I did not love it it wasn't something that I enjoyed but I'm giving it another try I thoroughly thoroughly like it and I think I might actually go back and get another one just in case um, it's what I've got on my eyebrows today and I've never really used a pencil it's always been the I think it's Max Factor or Maybelline kind of powder palette and I swear by that as well, I absolutely loved it but I just thought I would give this a try and I'm definitely, definitely converted back to it because I didn't like it when I first used it but this is in the shade Top and yeah, Precision Pencil and Powder and I don't really use the powder section of it, I just use the spoolie and the pencil end but yes, I am a fond lover of that and I have been loving that this month. So the next item I wanted to feature is this black cord skirt with the tortoiseshell buttons down the front of it. This featured in my last Primark haul and I have been wearing it to death like literally every single weekend. Every chance I have, I have this on with a pair of tights and a logo tee. So I really maybe need to try and get some more clothes because um, I keep wearing the same thing. I love the way it looks. I love the way I feel in it and it definitely gives me a boost of confidence. I've never really been a skirt lover or wearer but I am definitely switching things up a bit and yeah I absolutely love this and I think it was about £13 and I'm sure they do have them in stock even maybe in more colours so yeah I have been loving this and wearing it every single chance I get. Okay so the next thing is a bit of a hit or a miss with some people. Some people are lovers, some people are haters. I personally am a lover. And it is these headbands. Headbands have made it back into fashion and I absolutely love them. I am not a lover of hair being in my face. And these just give a nice alternative to an outfit. They jazz it up if you have something plain on. And yeah, I just absolutely love them. These are all from Primark and they were all 2 50 each. So I just kind of grabbed a different range because you never know what you're going to wear in one day. And yeah, I just thought I would pick them all up. I know there is a few different other colours, so I might have to go and pick them up. But for now, I just have a leopard print one and I love the big tie detail at the top. It just gives it like some extra volume and a nice little accessory to add to any plain outfit. So I just have that one. I've got a pink and yellow styled one. There is also just a plain black one. Black goes with everything so I absolutely love that. There is this kind of dusky burnt orange colour and I love that as well. I've got a black and white polka dot as well as the yellow and white polka dot and then I also have the khaki green colour. And yeah, like I said, I just think they're such a nice little accessory to add to any kind of outfit to jazz up a little bit. And yeah, you can wear them in basically any way that you would like to. Put it through the middle section of your hair and it just adds a little something something. Or if you are like me and you don't like your hair in your face at all, pop one of these on and job is done. Keeps your hair at your face, accessorises a little bit, adds a little something extra to a plain black outfit. And yeah, I just love, like I said, the top knot detail. I just think it adds a little something extra. I always feel like my hair is quite flat, hence the reason that I've curled it. And just adding that adds a little something extra to it. So yeah, I'm absolutely loving them at the moment. And like I said, they are only £2.50 from Primark. I know there's loads of different places that do them, I think. I went to H&M and Topshop, but they were all about a £10 each. And I'm quite tight when it comes to spending that kind of money, especially on an accessory. So yeah, I thought I'd pick them up in one of every single colour. And on the back of hair accessories, I also have this Tresemme heat defence spray. This is up to 230 degrees heat protection. I picked this up from Home Bargains and I have been terrible for using heat spray. I know it's really, really bad, but it's just one of these things that I forgot. 
So I picked these up, this up after I had my hair chopped off, which you might have noticed. And I've been using it before every single ounce of heat that touches my hair. Um, and it just smells like the hairdresser. I cannot explain to you, it's just divine. So yeah, every time I know that I'm going to put a curl or straighten my hair or blow dry it, I just spray some of this on before it and like I said, it smells like I'm in the hairdressers, it's amazing and it's also protecting your hair at the same time which is just amazing, so yeah. Right, so that is everything that I have been loving in the month of March. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please remember and give me a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below for more notifications. Apologies if you can hear my washing machine in the background, but, you know, reality and all that. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you all later. Bye!